before we look at the different scenarios of multi-hooping, let's look at the entire process of multi-hooping. First, you must choose a hoop size. Right-click on the show hoop icon and choose the size of the hoop that you're going to use for your design. Make sure that there's a check mark by show hoop and click OK. As you can see, this design is too large for this large oval hoop. Next, select the multi-hooping toolbox. Any areas that are black are outside the hoop area. Those that are green are inside the hoop area. So let's look at our options first. I'm gonna click on multi-hoop options and you can either select multi-hoop options in multi-hooping or the options in your top, your top row of toolbars. By default, add registration marks on output is checked. You can adjust the margin if you wish. We're gonna leave this at the default of medium and click OK. For this design, we're going to use automatically add hoops. So click on that. After selecting the icon, the software evaluates the design, splits the design, rotates hoops if necessary, and calculates hoopings. Click OK, and as you can see, this software made the decision to rotate the second hoop to accommodate this design. To see how the design was split, you can go to Preview Hoopings, and a docker will open on the right side. If you click and hold on Hooping 1, it will show you what is included in the Hoop 1. And notice the red registration marks that are close to the edges of the hoop. You can also select what will be in Hooping 2. And in Hooping 2, the registration marks are green. If we are ready to send the design to a Bernina machine, click on Write to Machine. The hooping sequence screen shows the way the design is pieced together. And if you scroll in, you can see how the design will fit together. This is one of the registration marks. The registration marks will stitch last in this first file and will stitch first in the second hooping. If a design has three hoopings, one of the files will contain both sets of reference marks. You'll select each design and click on Send Now, and then click on the EXP USB stick, and the designs will be sent in EXP format to a USB stick. You must be sure and send both designs, so you'll click on the second design and click on Send Now. Now, if you have another brand of machine, you can save and send the designs in other formats. You can send the designs to the machine by going to File, Export Machine File. The software automatically opens up to My Machine Files, and this is where the designs will be saved. You'll choose your format from the drop-down choices, and then click on Save. You'll want to click Yes to export one file for every hooping, and that will open up to this same hooping sequence screen, and you can click on Save All, and then open the files to send to your particular brand of machine. If you wish to print templates, you can go to the Print Preview, and under Options, check hooping sequence, and I'm gonna uncheck some of these other things and click OK. You can then print an entire template and then also the separate templates. So you will have the full template and any of the partial templates. You wanna make sure that print is thumbnails is unchecked and hooping sequence is checked. If you check print as thumbnails, the individual hoops will not print, but will instead be printed as thumbnails. 